All right, that recording, that's recording. Oh, happy Tuesday. Mondays are always crazy to get a video out because I'm slammed busy. Uh, Tuesdays just a slammed, <laughs> in case anybody cares. No one, no one cares. Uh, and um, then Wednesday, we actually, uh, full disclosure, I work for Zoom full time. And one of Zoom's um, mandates, is that the word? Mandate from... Uh, from higher up is that no internal meetings on Wednesday. So typically Wednesdays is full of external meetings <laughs> then. So, um, but it helps you get uh, some of your stuff done. One of the things I wanted to get done on this Tuesday, not Wednesday, is to show some of the tricks that I use to make my camera better. Uh, and I get this question all the time. How does my camera look so good? Um, they don't ask you how I look so good. It's uh, how the camera looks so good. And uh, here's some of the things that I do and and some of the things that I want to do. Um, one of the things that I want to do is to get an SLR camera, like a digital SLR camera, and set that up. Hold on one second. See the difference? I actually have a light. So here's a couple of things that I do. First of all, I don't have a super expensive camera. I have the Logitech Brio. I think last time I looked, they uh, were on Amazon from like 150 to 200 bucks. Uh, I use the Logitech Brio. I also have a Logitech 925C, but I typically don't use that one. I actually like the Brio's camera better. Um, so I'm into it for, let's just say 200 bucks, right? For the, for the camera. I actually, actually also have a ring light, right? The ma lighting makes a, a ton of difference. So let's say I'm into it for 50 bucks there. So I'm in it for 250 already. Uh, zoom provides the laptop. So I don't use that camera cause it's horrible. <laughs> it's sorry, Mac, sorry, Apple, but your camera is horrible. It's good for a built-in camera, I guess. But if for, if you're doing presentations all day long, every day, it's, it's really not that great. So here's what, here's what happens is that I also bought this program called webcam settings. And I literally bought this, this uh, program off of really the application store in, in Mac. Uh, it's webcam settings. That's really as complicated as it, it is. I think it's $8 or, or something like that. I don't even think it's available for, um, for windows PCs. It's just for, for app PCs. So I use this, uh, simple program webcam settings and it allows me to do a couple of things. Well, actually a lot more than a couple. It allows me to really hone in on and take advantage of the horse horsepower that these cameras have. Obviously Logitech has built in software, um, for their camera it's not good. <laughs> it's, it's simply not that good. And, and it's obviously it's free. Well, it's not really free. You paid for it when you bought the camera. So it's part of the bundle, I guess you could say, but I wanted something with more horsepower. And so I actually had a, a colleague point me in the direction of, of webcam settings and webcam settings allows me to granularly set all the parameters in my camera. Uh, and, and if you don't know what you're doing, it's okay. Just play around with it. Just really all you have to do is turn it on and play around with it. Here's the default setting of my camera right now. The Logitech Brio default setting, uh, you're looking at, I tweaked it with the Logitech software as much as I could. Now I've actually laid webcam settings over the top of that. And I'm going to go to my Brio setting that I set. Watch the difference. See that it's warmer. It's closer. It's more crisp. It's actually, um, uh, zoomed in a little bit and the white balance is a little bit uh, 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 to the left of here. You can see this right here. What I'm going to show you is some of the settings that I did that I found for me. And this is not necessarily what's going to be best for you. If you use a Logitech Brio, you're going to have to play around with it. Really, it's, it's that simple. And these settings are your core settings that you've always, if you've had a Mac or an iPhone or an Android phone and you played with uh, the pictures and the settings in your camera, you'll see all these are, are really commonplace. Brightness, contrast, saturation, sharpness. You're going to have to adjust these uh, to, to what your environment is. Your outdoor lighting might be different than mine. And obviously I have a ring light and I have it right above my camera and I have the camera right above my screen. So it's pointing a little bit down on me. All these little tricks and tips actually help. And you're just gonna have to play around with it. There's no, no universal rule, uh, um, other than 
use lighting <laughs> and use webcam settings. I am not a spokesman for, for webcam settings at all. I just paid the $8 and I've used every single bit of it. These are the basic settings that you can have and you can set this up for every single camera you might have. I have multiple cameras here, um, but I only use the Brio for my live sessions. I can then go into advanced and a lot more stuff is there as well. Autofocus, you can turn on or off. Backlight uh, compensation, you can turn on or off. Power line, frequency, hertz, all the stuff you can play with. You can even turn the LED off on the camera. Uh, so when you're not using it, you can tell, obviously, it's off. So again, this is just one of the tricks I use to make my camera better. Uh, again, $200 camera from, from Logitech Brio. I am by no means a spokesman for Logitech Brio either. I used it in, a, in another job and I really liked it. Uh, I know there's a lots of camera choices. I'm not saying this one's the best. This is just the one I chose. Uh, and with the webcam settings, it does a pretty good job. Again, the future, I would like to have a couple of ring lights actually set up behind my desk. You can't actually see that because it would be ugly in the picture. I would actually like to have a DLSR, DSLR, a digital um, uh, camera that does a full scope. And uh, I've seen this done uh, um, with other presenters and their camera is amazing. Uh, and, and some of my coworkers have uh, have a Sony or, or whatever you choose again for your DSLR camera. It's a, it's a big investment. You're talking upwards of seven, eight, nine hundred dollars minimum to get into that space. And if you're, you're not a professional presenter uh, and you're not uh, working uh for for zoom <laughs> as a professional presenter maybe that's not worth the money for you it's it's worth the money for me because this is what i do this is my living this is what i uh how i pay the mortgage um just a couple of things that I do. Uh, webcam settings, really simple, really easy program to utilize. And then you can set it for every single camera you have. And if you don't like it, you can just uh, change the settings to whatever works for you. Again, uh, there's no rule that 100% rule that applies to everyone. Everyone has a different setup. Everyone has different hardware. Everyone has different lighting. So play around with it. Again, worth the eight bucks for me. You know, if you're, you have one less beer at the brewery uh, on Friday night and then you can afford webcam settings. I hope that hope that's helpful. I know that's not specifically to Zoom. This can apply to really any single UCAS program. I just happen to, to work for Zoom. <laughs> All right. Enjoy your Tuesday.